behind your back. Wait, where's my back? Put your hands behind your back. You're watching a man being tased in his own living room as his wife pleads for a deputy to stop. Is this a case of where law enforcement went too far? Well, that will be for a judge and a jury to decide. The man has filed suit against the Marin County Sheriff's Department for the agonizing experience he suffered. ABC 7's Vic Lee is in the newsroom with a story you'll see only on 7. Vic. Carolyn, his name is Peter McFarland, and he calls Marin County home. He's an IT consultant a cancer survivor with a heart condition. And last summer, he was tased in the sanctity of his own home by Marin County Sheriff's deputies. June 29th last year, just before midnight, 64-year-old Peter McFarland and his wife Pearl were returning from a charity fundraiser. McFarland injured himself as he stumbled and fell down the long steps to his front door. Mainly was to my knee, in the front of my leg, my shins. His wife called paramedics who helped him into the house and treated him. As the paramedics were leaving, two sheriff's deputies arrived. All of a sudden they just showed up and they came in here like, like there was a fire going on or some gunfight was going on. The video you're about to see is from a camera mounted on the deputy's taser. You can see the laser from the gun targeted on his chest. The deputy tells McFarland he's going to take him to the hospital because he may be suicidal. Yeah, we want to take you to the hospital for an evaluation. You said if you had a gun, you would shoot yourself in the head. McFarland tells ABC 7 News it was just hyperbole. He was tired and in pain. The deputy orders him numerous times to get up or else. Stand up, turn around, and put your hands behind your back or you're going to get tased. McFarland keeps refusing. The exchange goes on for about five minutes. His wife keeps pleading with the deputies not to tase him, saying he has a heart condition. Then McFarland tells the deputies in no uncertain terms to leave. What the f are you doing in my house? I didn't ask you in my house. Get out of here. Then, as he gets up to go to bed, he's tased. Not once, but three times. Sit down. Put your hands behind your back. Hey. Put your hands behind your back. Put your hands behind your back. Confirm, 22, we have one take. Quit resisting, stop resisting. 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 Stop Stop resisting. 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 Stop Stop John Scott is McFarland's attorney. There's got to be a problem in terms of training and or supervising deputy sheriffs in the county. And it's hard to imagine that something this shocking could happen. Well, Scott says his client was arrested, jailed, and charged with resisting arrest. A judge later dismissed that charge. Scott says... The deputies had no search warrant or legal reason to enter McFar McFarland's home. And even if they thought he was drunk and suicidal, Scott says the tasing was excessive force. Our calls to the sheriff's office were not returned. Vic Lee, ABC 7 News. Okay, Vic, thank you very much.